everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I am doing pretty well. I want to show you uh, this month's challenge. Now, I haven't got it all completed yet, but I thought I'd bring you on and show you what I've done so far. All right, let me move some stuff out of the way. You can see I've got my big kick out, um, and I also have a bunch of fabric here and some papers. So this is what our challenge is going to be this month. I decided that I have, I, I'm, I'm so grateful, I have a ton of fabric pieces now that I can use and I'm really excited about using them. So I got thinking, um, Peg Robinson, if you guys don't know her, check her out, she's fantastic. We were talking one day and she has, this is, this inspiration is coming from her, okay? She was talking about when she made stamps and I was like, oh, I kind of like that idea. So here's the ones that she sent to me, the examples of what she had, which I think are fantastic. Aren't they cute? What a fantastic way to make an embellishment um, for in your journals, right? So I've been thinking about all this fabric I have sitting over here now. Now recently, I was you guys know I was down in North Carolina and I went to a reuse center. And they have these um, books of fabric samples. And this one, I actually, I had my husband help me tear the book apart because I wanted the fabric and I didn't want to just cut it out of the big bulky book. So here's the fabric. This is where it was bound. It was bound up on this part of it. That's the old glue that stuck it in there. And then the bottom, of course, has a, a thicker layer so you can flip through the different pieces of fabric. Well. My idea for stamps, what I was going to do, and what I've done here, I'm going to show you the beginnings. Let me move this out of the way. Ugh. Move it, you. Okay. The, in the beginning, I have this um, die. This is a Sizzix, and it's a frames and a stamp combo. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but what it does is it gives you a border, but it also cuts you a square. Okay? There's a small one and a big one. So I got this out and I started playing around with the big kick. And the first thing I did is I just took fabric scraps and I started cutting them with this die. Now they're okay. Um, am I real happy with them? Mm, I mean, I can use them absolutely. See, here's the the die itself. This is what it does. It cuts the square, the frame, and then it also gives you the stamp right so I thought oh this is really cool so I started cutting them and they're cool don't get me wrong they're they're kind of cool I think this is a scrap yeah that one's a scrap I got some scraps over here they'll be used for yummy goodness and something else um, so I you know I did a few of them and I thought okay well these are alright I mean I wasn't really exactly thrilled with them okay alright so here's some frames and some squares yeah, they're going to be used for something else. We're not going to use those today. So then I decided, all right, I got to do something else with fabric. So I took these pieces. I decided to cut some of these pieces off the main sheets of fabric because it's kind of a sturdy. And look what I did. Voila! Aren't these cool? Look at that. These are really cool. And they have enough backing on them. See, this one's not quite cut. I've been running them through the die cutter like once or twice and just kind of over and over a little bit because it is fabric and it's, of course, thicker than paper. So, but look at these. Aren't these awesome? I'm so excited. So, what I'm going to do, and I got to keep staying so, and I'm sorry about that, but that's just me. So, <laughs> um, these are so cool. I just, I think they're, they're just really, really neat. What I wanted to do is I wanted to show you, all right, so we're going to put these aside. I'm going to show you how it works with the die cutter um, with the big kick. These are the frames. Now, I'm definitely not going to throw these away. You know these can be used in something, even if it's just, you know, in a glue book. But 
these would make fantastic frames for in a travel journal or even in your my year journal you know they would make phenomenal frames and again this is if you have this die cut now as you know we don't tell you to go out and buy things we're, I'm going to show you another way to do these. But I want to show you first how it works with this die cut. My, my boards are like, look how warped that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Still use it. What I've been doing is I take one of my fabric that's got the backing on it, and I just kind of eyeball it to get an idea of how big I want the piece. This is going to cover the big one. And then we're going to eyeball it, and this should cover the smaller one. All right, now people are probably telling me, oh no, you gotta flip it over, you gotta flip it over. No, you don't. You just roll it, roll it. I gotta turn it sideways. All right, so I went over it once, went over it twice. I'm gonna do it again. I don't have to do it again. I just like to do it so I don't have to do any snippy snippy at the end. All right, so here we are. And look at this. There you can see the die cut. And it is just simply fantastic because here's our stamp and here's our stamp edge. How cool is that? And what's even more cool is because they're not, see this is why I do the thing, um, run it over twice because I want to cut all these fibers. Um, the, the great thing about it is we you don't, you don't have to stick with this stamp and this this. Um, frame you can change them out right look at that all right so that's this is the die cut and this is how I'm working with the die cut and trying to keep all the fabric out of it all right one more time I'm going to show you another one now this one has I haven't done this one yet this one has a lot of texture on it so we're going to see how this works Let's see how this will work. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a test. All right, I have my board here. It's funny, I love my big kit, and I also have the bigger one, the 12 inch one or 8 inch one. And I love that one too. This one's handy for stuff that I need to do right here on my table. And the other one I use over on a bench behind my table. So um, I did get rid of my uh, silhouette. It was more of a pain in the butt for me than it was um, useful. So I got rid of that. Look at that. It works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So isn't that cool? I'm so excited. So check in your, um, I don't know if you have any reuse shops around or even in your thrifties or go to your local paint store, your paint or wallpaper store and ask them if they have any old sample books that you could, you know, buy for a couple bucks or even have, you know, they might have them for you. All right. So now you don't have the fabric. Let's say you don't have the fabric. Oh, here is some pieces. This has no backing to it. This was just pieces of fabric. And like I said, it, it works. Uh, it, it works. I don't like how um, flimsy it is. I like the other ones better. But I mean, these can be used. I just wanted to show you that I cut these out prior. Again, same thing. It's got your um, stamp edge as well as your stamp. Now this, of course, will go in the goodies. And these are all done. Uh, these I've cut all these and I was doing them and I'm like ah. but of course you know Cindy she has to keep her on doing them so I'll find the use for them somewhere doing something with them they cool now I did try uh, to cut this cut these out uh, with the um, pattern scissors like these things here and of course these things aren't sharp enough to cut paper half the time so they definitely are not going to work on fabric that needs to come over here. So this is a no, no, you don't want that. But paper, we can do it with paper. Um, let me just show you. I want to finish these real quick. I get sidetracked. Squirrel, squirrel. I have to go find a squirrel. 
I hope you guys enjoy these monthly challenges. I know I do. I like just trying to figure out a, a different way to use something. Um, so it's, you know, they're fun. I think they're fun. But, you know, definitely share with me what you create. Even if you decide you don't want to do stamps this month, but you want to use fabric to make something else, go for it. Show me what you got. Show me what you did. I love to see... And I think we all get creative and inspiration off each other. I know uh, right now, I'm actually, this is the end of June that I'm recording this, but I know right now there's a big um, thing going around from Jerry's Metal. And that's fantastic. We all inspire each other. Uh, this was inspiration from Peg with her stamps. So, you know, even if you do something totally different, it's okay. There's a good possibility you're going to inspire somebody out there right so let's say you don't have this fabric and you do have a die cut and all you've got is paper there's nothing wrong with that let's let's make a few paper ones why not like I said my things are really bent so I have to really get them together I shouldn't have to do that twice it is paper there you go we have stamped Pippa oh that didn't go all the way this one did See, that one did not go all the way, which is okay. I'm just going to cut it off right here. And that's all right. We don't need a bottom on that one. We'll use that for something else. That'd be a cute little tuck spot, wouldn't it? Huh. Inspiration. See, it's everywhere. All right, so there's that one. I've got another piece of paper. I'm going to try a different board because this one is really, really wavy. Now, this is some of the paper from Canvas Corp. This is called the Mixed Media Orin Origins Collection. So this is a heavier paper, and I thought this would be kind of cool to do, too. So let's do one here. And this has uh, been sprayed with a Tattered Angel, some type of a glimmer mist. So let's, this poor diet, this poor thing. I have a couple new ones, but you know, you always go back to the old ones. All right, now just because this is a thicker paper, I'm going to kind of run it through twice. Nothing crazy. I just want to make sure it cuts all the way through. And here's one. So what I'm finding out is it's got to be, I like that, it's got to be a thicker, um, I prefer a thicker base to cut with this die because then it stands up and it holds up to its own. How cool is that? Isn't that awesome? All right, so let me finish what I'm doing here with cutting these up and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these. I'm going to go back to the fabric. I've got one of those. I've got one of those. I don't know if I have any of those. This I don't have. Look at this white one with the shell on it. Isn't that beautiful? Like I said, I found this fabric pad down in uh, um, North Carolina, and it was just, I think it was like five bucks. So I got a couple of them. And, uh, you know, I've been, like I said, I had my hubs help me. Whoops, wait a minute. Let's back that up. Let's get it on the plate. How about that? That might work better. Right? Doo, doo, doo. One. Again, this is a thicker, so I'm just going to run it through again. You know, is it a necessity? No, not really. It's just how I do things. And there you go. We have two of them cut. And let's look at the front of this one. Look at that shell. How cool is that? I'm really liking these. These are really cool. All right. I think I have enough postage stamps. Do I have any of this color? Yes, I do. Okay, so let me put this stuff away, what I don't need anymore. And we will go ahead and start actually making what I plan on making with these. Now, my challenge to you this month is to take either your fabric or your paper 
or any other medium you choose and let's make some postage stamps out of them okay so that's your challenge let me go ahead like I said I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff off my desk and put some stuff away and then we're going to make some embellishments with these postage stamps we'll be right back all right guys I'm still thinking through this process but this is what I've got so far this is um, just plain clear contact paper and it was all rolled up in my drawer and I have this little craft iron it's a clover I found this at Tuesday morning for like six bucks so I just kind of um, flattened it out a little bit and here's what I'm thinking I can use the back side this side to stick my stamps on and then when it comes time to use the stamps I can just pull off no that's not gonna work hold on let me rethink this all right guys so what I did is we finished up the die cutting so I have that now if you don't have that die you can still make these stamps what I'm gonna do is use these scissors but again I'm gonna use them on paper so it's very easy to make a stamp looking piece of paper see okay does it have to be square like these or round no it doesn't remember this is mixed media it can look like anything we want it to look like so the idea here is to just pull out some scraps pull out some fancy scissors um, or a die cut or some fabric let's try another one and just have fun so we're gonna make some stamps let me um, finish cutting some of these out because I want to use some of these in a, in junction in junction um, along with <laughs> let's do it that way um, some of the fabrics that we've done so this is just a piece of book text uh, that I had glued something onto it for some reason. So we're just going to do another one. I don't like that one. We're going to do this one. Now there's a couple different ways you can make these into stickers. You of course can use double sided tape to make it into a sticker. Uh, I'm seriously thinking about using some contact paper, so I gotta figure out exactly how I want to do it. So I'm not sure yet. And I will try not to sing, but I have my headset on with music just because I wanted something different. Um, don't be surprised if I break out into a song. <laughs> you don't want to hear me singing, though. You know what? I like this, but I want to make it a little bit smaller. See, that'll fit right in there. Why not? Absolutely. All right, so we have a few. I want to do a couple more out of paper. I don't like that person. Find another one. This one looks good. This is a textured paper. And I'm pretty sure this was given to me in a happy mail. Look at that. Can you see the texture on there? It's really, really cool. Change my lights a little bit. That's really cool. Yeah, this is more of a like a clothy paper. It's a very thick paper. So it's kind of difficult to cut with these scissors. But that's okay. Doesn't matter. Alright. Here's a couple more. I don't need both of these. And again, all you have to have is really a decorative edge on this. You don't have to have it looking specifically like a stamp. Okay? So use what you have. Don't, don't go out and buy a new die. Don't go out and buy a new, you know, set of scissors. None of that. 
just use what you have. You know what, if you have to do them just normal, we can do that too. So let's just, we're just gonna do some regular cuts. That's a cool stamp. I'm gonna use this one, cut off the edge. There you go. All right, so we're gonna use those as well. Why not? Okay, so I've just showed you three different ways that you can make yourself some stamps. Now you don't have to have both the frame and the inside. You can do them without the frame, okay? So let's, now I'm gonna work on um, figuring out how I wanna put these on the contact because what I'm thinking is this has a sticky back on it. This is the part that's got the sticky to it. So if I take my contact paper and I flatten it so it will stay flat this way, I can glue on here and then just cut around them and we'll have a sticky back, right? That's my thought. So we're gonna see if this works. Now, what I have here is this is my, um, it's not hot yet. This is a small iron. It's a crafter's iron. It's made by Clover. And I found this in Tuesday morning for like six bucks. And it's getting warm. Uh, I just want to flatten out my contact paper because this was all rolled up. You can see the creases in it. It was all in a roll. And I don't know if I got this from somebody or even where it came from, but I want to use it. So. I just want to try to flatten it a little bit so that I don't have to worry about all these corners. All right, now what I want to see is, we're gonna look real quick. If I can get it off. Maybe, maybe not. Hello? Hello? All right, see, so there's the contact paper and it's got the sticky to it. So let's try this. Let's put some together. I am going to grab out my little um, drawer of minis. This is what I call my minis. And it's just kind of good stuffs that I can use. Look at these. Aren't these cool? Those are so cool. I love these flowers. They were sent to me by a girl named Kaylin. And thank you, Kaylin. I absolutely love them. So we're going to play. So let's start out. Let's take one of these blue ones. This is a fabric. Um, on the wheel, around you, baby. Let's see. That goes for a little one. That's for a little one. Let's get a big one. Spill a bit. Look at that. That's going to be cute. So I think what I, the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to glue this down onto the contact. I'm gonna start with this part of it. So let me get out my glues, get rid of some stuff, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Guess what, guys? <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing at myself because I just made a stupid mistake. <laughs> okay, I have, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what happens. I have these nice little fine liners, right? <laughs> and they're full of white stuff. Well, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> and I grabbed one. And I glued down my edges. <laughs> and I'm like, why is it all white? I couldn't figure out why. Well, I bet you guys can guess. Guess what I grabbed? <laughs> I didn't grab the glue. I grabbed <laughs> just so. <laughs> That's just too funny. I'm sorry, I'm cracking myself up over here. Um, where's my rag? Hold on. All right, we'll use this one. <laughs> oh boy. So, just a tip of the day. <laughs> Don't use your gesso to try to glue something. It doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that back. Oh gosh. All right, so we gotta let this guy dry out. So we're gonna put another one. Ah. <laughs> Uh, if I don't laugh, I'll cry, so <laughs> I just have to laugh. All right, so... <sighs> oh, 
All right, move on, Cindy. So I've got this on the contact paper. Now, like I said, I want to try to, I'm hoping this will work. I don't know if it will or not. We're going to find out. But I, what I did is I did use tacky glue just to glue this down on the contact paper. So now I'm going to take another, let's take this one. All right, this is just a, it's just an edging. So instead of <laughs> gesso, this time, I'm thinking I'm going to use tacky glue. <laughs> oh, gosh. See, if I was doing this live, I would have just cracked up laughing and not been able to continue. All right. So I'm going to glue that right there. Look at that. And now we should have a sticker. Right? Yes, we do. So now we just have to get the mounting off the back of this contact paper. Oops. Once it dries, let's let it dry first. I'm going to do a few of these, uh, get them glued on. Then we're going to decorate them. I still have just all over me. <laughs> oh, too funny. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I needed a laugh today. I um, had a doctor's appointment this morning. Things didn't go like I wanted them to, so pile it on. Why not? All right, so let's do another one. I'm just going to take this piece of contact paper. And when I... Uh, glued it on. I just left a little bit around the edge for the framing to go to. So let's do that again. This is the fabric. I'll use a piece of paper here in a second. So here's the fabric. Again, I'm just going to leave enough so I can put an, an exterior on it. Or a frame, I should say. Urgh. Come on, girl. Get your stuff together. All right, so I left enough so that we're going to have stickiness there. Let's use one of the papers. I like this one. Just going to use one of the pretty colored covered cut papers. You know what? This one doesn't need an edge, so I'm going to bring it over this edge and over that edge. Just so we have a sticky back. And I'm actually going to cut it underneath its ruffle. Can you see what I'm doing? Because it doesn't need to have that edging because it has the design already on the loop on the outside of it. So I'm just going a little bit underneath that loop or that edging. And see, there we go. We should have a sticker. Stick off. All right. Let me go ahead and get a few of these put together and using the correct glues. <laughs> well, isn't that cute? That'd be cute. Let's put that one there. Let me use tacky glue again. I'm just going to glue around the outside edge. Yeah, I kind of wish that die would give us the option to either, you know, cut it apart or not cut it apart, but. That'd be an interactive die, and I don't think there is such a thing. Hey, Tim Holtz, make us an interactive die, please. <laughs> All right. So let me get a few of these glued onto the contact paper, and then we're going to have fun decorating them. So I'll see you back here in a minute. All right, so I've got a few of them here, two, four, six, seven of them. I don't know why, I just that's what I ended up with. And I'm just going to go ahead and start decorating them. Now, like I said, I'm going to use my little thing of minis here. I even have regular stamps in here, which I might utilize on these. But I'm just, I'm going to decorate them, make them look kind of cool. And uh, I will share, look at that. That's cool. I like that, that little lollipop on there. So that's going to go on that one. But we're just going to make really cute embellishments for in our journals. So I thought this five cents looked kind of cool there. Let's see if I can use this anywhere. Maybe here. And again, there, there's no rules, no rhyme, no reason. You just play with these and have fun and make cute little embellishments for in your journals. So I'm going to go ahead and do this while um, I put you guys on fast forward. 
because I'm not really sure what else I want to talk about right now. Like I said, I, I my mind's going 100 miles an hour right now. So um, let me go ahead, fast forward, get this done, and I will be back.
right guys so here it is my challenge for July is to make yourself some little postage stamp embellishments and then use them in your journals um, I'm still looking for a hot imagine that's the one I want I just wanted to put uh, come on, a word on here um, I enjoy making stuff like this I find it a lot of fun and you know it gives you a good excuse to use up some of those little bits and bobs and pieces of stuff you got laying around all right so again we did them with die cuts we did them with scissors um, we used fabric fabric we we used paper uh, we used contact now now here's for the big test all right so this is a journal that a dear friend of mine I'm gonna bring you back out a little bit um, Wendy had sent to me I absolutely cherish this journal <laughs> Um, I don't I, I, I don't want it to get filled up because this is just I love it well this journal uh, I'm not going to go into the whole story about it but some of my stuff's on here this is a tag I made at a retreat uh, well this last weekend uh, that I was at and it was basically about you know being you and and the oneness of you so now I have a little pocket right here that I put in and you know what let's put look at that but how cool is that going to be right there so oops did we oh we didn't put this one on our contact paper we didn't we didn't this is just the paper itself so let me grab my contact paper as soon as I figure out what happened to it where it went okay well here's some other paper same thing this is a see-through transparent contact paper so I just need a little piece of it and we're going to stick this on here. Uh, let's see, right about there. Right about there. All right. And we're going to stick this on. We're going to glue this on the back. Do, 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 do. Glue it. Now, if you don't have. Um, contact or clear contact I'm not sure if you can get it in the dollar store I know I've seen it there before but I don't know is it something that they carry all of the time so if you can't get contact you can use um, double-sided tape as well you just have to add double-sided tape to your backgrounds I just kind of wanted these to have built-in stickers maybe see my glue's not dry so I can't get a hold of the sticker part See, it's just bringing the whole thing. All right, let me fight with it. I'll be right back. Okay, yay, I got it. It takes a little bit to get the backing. But once you take your backing off, then you have a sticker. So I am going to stick this right here. And voila, we have an instant stamp. Isn't that cool? All right, guys, so that's your challenge this month. I, I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. You know, um, just think outside the box, even though we're doing box stamps. You can make round stamps. You can make circle stamps. You can make um, oval stamps, whatever. You can make stamps that are in the shape of a butterfly. It's totally up to you. So I hope you guys enjoy this month's challenge. And as always... Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and please share what you do for me, okay? Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.